Now we're going to look at quizzes, tests. So I'm going to show you this through this this first test that I've put in the example class. Now you can read here that it says must score at least three. So to, to unlock the next item we must score at least three in this test. Sometimes um, some quizzes the teacher has just decided you must just take the quiz sometimes the teacher has decided you must get a certain score before it lets you carry on in this case I've set it up so that the student cannot pass to the next item until they score at least three now when you click on the test it gives you some information it tells me that there are three questions it tells me there's a limit of two minutes for me to take the test so watch out for that because some of the tests are limited by time and but this also tells me I have unlimited attempts. So each attempt I can only have two minutes, but I can keep taking the the test. And whereas some other tests you can only take once. It's telling me there are three points possible, and then I can take the quiz. So the first time I'm going to do this, I'm going to show you um, what it's like if I don't pass. Three simple questions here. I'm going to say that by you is Hawaii is located in Honolulu, which it isn't, of course, it's in Laie. And then, um, how many countries ha or students from how many countries have signed up for BYU Hawaii online? And the answer is 70, actually. There are that many um, countries uh, where students have signed up for online classes now. And the correct email address to ask for technical support it is this one, BYUH online support at gmail.com, just for technical support, not for class issues. So I'm going to click these two, which I know are correct, but this one I know is wrong. So I'm going to submit my answers, and I'm going to get two out of three. So I got two out of three. So I'm going to go back to the home page, and you see that this is still locked because I didn't get three and it says I must score at least three. So I'm going to click on it again. And I got recent feedback saying I scored two out of three on that test. So I'm going to take it again. Click on the test. And it shows me my last two attempts. And it shows me that these two are green, so I got them right, and this one was wrong. So I'm going to take the quiz again. And also, watch over here. It tells you your remaining time. So this time I know that BYU Hawaii is located in Laie. We have 70 countries where students have taken online classes from. And the email address for technical support is support at gmail.com. And I'm going to submit my answers. Okay, so now I have three out of three. So now I'm going to go to the home page. And there it shows I have passed it because I have scored three. It shows me there my recent feedback. So now I can go to this next test. Now this next test is a little bit different because this one just says must submit the assignment. So I'm going to click on that. And this one tells me there's one question, there's a limit of two minutes, there's one point possible, and it's not telling me I have an unlimited attempts. So this is only one time only. Okay, this question is, I should only email byuhonlinesupport at gmail.com if I'm having a technical problem, which is true. We want you to use the inbox to email your teachers or t and TAs if you have a question about the class. But if you have technical problems only, then then email this, this address. And also, if you find after uh, two days that you're not getting responses from teachers or TAs, then you could email this uh, address telling, telling them that you're not getting responses. And always make sure you explain which class, which assignment, and what the, what the issue are, and you know, if you're not getting any response. Sometimes there's, there's glitches in the system where, where the communication isn't going through. Um, but only after um, two days tell us that kind of thing. Otherwise, it's just for technical problems. So true. Submit the answers. I got it right. Go to the home. Okay. So now it showed me that I have passed that, and the last thing has appeared, which is just a page. And in this case, it's telling me I just must view the page, which means I must click on it and read what's on it. 
So some teachers put information on the test like this and and then put a test afterwards. And there it showed me I have viewed the page, so I've got all the check marks and it now it's the check mark next to unit one saying I've finished that unit. And that's how you navigate through the the class and this video was about mostly about the quizzes, but it also shows you how you can complete a unit. It tells me that it's completed down there.